Hi, I'm student Dr. Thompson. I'm a first-year medical student and I've recently started researching direct primary care. And I'd like to share with you what I've learned so far. If you know anything about direct primary care that I don't mention, or if you know more than I do, please feel free to add it in the comments. I in no way claim to be a, uh, an expert. And if you are a direct primary care physician yourself, I would welcome any type of enlightenment you have to offer. It's the return of the classic family doctor. You cut out the middleman, you eliminate insurance. It's a doctor-patient relationship in its, in its purest form. Stop right there. The first thought that came to my mind was, uh, how is the doctor going to get paid if there's no insurance company involved? And is this some kind of clinic for people who can't afford insurance? And as I found out further, that I'm going to explain now, um, that that's not the case. Direct primary care is for everyone. Um, first of all, the way it works is typically the physician will um, have like a membership charge. So he'll charge his patients a, a monthly, a low monthly membership fee, um, and then each time they come in, they'll pay a flat rate for a visit. Um, so for example, the doctor might charge a between 20 and let's say $100 a month, depending on how much they want to charge per visit, and their visit fee could either be free or it could be $10 a month, it could, or $10 a visit or $20 a visit. It just depends, and it's very flexible, and there's a lot of variety out there. Um, and then, <clears throat> what, what exactly, what kind of expenses exactly go into paying or go into billing insurance, and what kind of savings are involved there? So one clinician estimated that he spends 40 cents on every dollar in order to get money from insurance companies. And as I thought about that, you know, I've worked for, a, um, I worked for an ophthalmologist for a year, and we had a full-time employee doing billing. Um, oftentimes we would spend several hours after work helping the doctor make sure the charting was compliant and met all the requirements. Um, we also helped, you know, chase down bills that weren't paid by the insurance companies and then we had to go back to the patient and explain everything to them. There was a lot of time, a lot of money, especially because I was being paid by the hour and so were the other three employees. There's a lot of effort that goes into, you know, billing for insurance. So when that's cut out, what's freed up is a lot of flexibility and um, essentially money, 40 cents on the dollar. And then that's translated back to the patient and that's the whole uh, at least what I understand, that is the, the whole point of direct primary care. Um, so what about other things that the doctor needs to charge for, like uh, uh, workups and lab, you know, sending out blood, um, things that I don't know yet because I'm only a first-year student. Uh, well, <clears throat> this one doctor who charges uh, $20 a month for the fee and then $20 per visit, he includes um, free free things, um, each patient will get free equipment leasing, uh, glucose and blood sugar tests he doesn't charge for, neither does he charge for urinalysis, uh, pregnancy tests, strep tests, pH tests, hemocult, um, EKG, oxygen, oxygen saturation, peak flow meter, um, like a, a lung functioning test, just to name a few. And then for things like a, a cholesterol panel, he's negotiated with a local lab um, to charge $10 to his patients, um, a, a complete, comprehensive well panel, wellness panel. Um, it's at $30, so outrageous savings. I mean, if you Google cholesterol panel or a comprehensive wellness panel, those can cost several hundred dollars. In fact, um, most of the time, someone's copay is more than $30 for a comprehensive wellness panel. So, incredible innovation. Um, and just outstanding benefit for the patient. So, so what are the benefits for the patient? So the doctor's not dealing with all this hassle with insurance. Um, he's got more time to spend with the patients. And that also includes like uh, house calls, FaceTime, emails. Um, one doctor capped his practice at 1,200 patients. He sees 12 patients a day. And he gave each and every one of his patients his personal cell phone number. His cell phone's by his bedside at night and it will ring. Um, so essentially he's on, he's on call and everyone calls him crazy, 
but um, he reports that in his first year, only 12 of his pay, or he only had eight, excuse me, 18 phone calls, nine of which were from the same patient. So um, why don't they call him more if they have his cell phone and, and isn't this what it's all about? Well, they know that they can get in to see him whenever they want. Um, they're not worried about problems in the middle of the night when they know that they can see the, their doctor first thing in the morning and get the same care that they would have. Um, so time with the doctor, that's number one. The second benefit is they get better care. The doctor knows their history. The doctor knows their, their everything about them. You know, there's a real relationship there. Instead of seeing their doctor once every six months or once every six years, they're seeing their doctor on a, a very regular basis. <clears throat> also, it's just less money. It costs the patient less when, um, when they're employing this um, method of you know, health care. How does it benefit the doctor? Well, first of all, the doctor's still paying his bills. That's a big deal. Um, second of all, the doctor's flexible to be an entrepreneur, to be innovative, to do what he wants with his practice, and to provide the patients with the type of care he wants to provide them. The third benefit is he's actually being a doctor. And uh, I've heard from many people that, that that improves job satisfaction so much. These types of doctors want to practice past the age of retirement. They're not excited to get the heck out of there because they're sick of dealing with insurance companies. So um, benefits for the, for the doctor there. So in conclusion, direct primary care. The patient. Um, they're, they're spending more time with their doctor. They're getting better care and it's at a lower cost. The doctor is getting the same pay. He's, he's got such a more flexible way to practice um, and he's actually enjoying his job. He's got job satisfaction. Um, guys, uh, I've placed a link to a doctor that I admire, uh, a perfect example of direct primary care in the description. Please check it out, and thanks for watching.